A couple of y'all wanted an update from the last video. So what I ended up having to do because this torque converter, it was really light on the spring tension for the factory torque converter setup on the driver pulley. So I bought a set of Comet springs, which if you just use the springs and not the medium weights, it will increase the stall speed to 2000 RPM. Otherwise it's 1600 RPM. And the only issue with that is at 1600 on the factory one, this would already start to engage. And based off the old videos that y'all have seen, it would start to jerk and creep up and creep back. So it was never really in neutral. And that would create a massive clunk and a binding when trying to shift this back to the reverse gearbox. Now, once you end up upgrading the springs and leaving just the factory weights in here, it allows it to engage with no problem at all and stay in neutral when off throttle. With that, the four wheel drive system is hooked up. It's got lock in front hubs, so you can open those up if you need just two wheel drive or technically one wheel drive. It's open and open up front. I did not want to weld either differential up because I want it to still be safe whenever anybody else is driving this thing. I said, it's just a creek crawler, so it's literally just meant to creep around. I think the max speed on this thing is anywhere between eight and 10 miles an hour with that 55 tooth gear sprocket. So if I went with a smaller one, it would go faster obviously, but it'd have less torque. And right now torque is what I'm looking for. And I tested it out. If I put a 1350 height tire right here, this will crawl over it with just minimal input on the throttle, which is exactly what I was shooting for. The next thing I'm going to do is lay plate right here. I'm going to flip the mount brackets from the outside to the inside, order some factory mount bushings. That way when I weld the diamond plate in, it is just sitting on the bushings. So it will be removable in about five different sections. This area is going to maintain its openness. I'll probably put a little battery box there. I already have one here, but I think I want to run something that's going to be a little stronger. Plan on putting a little winch up front. In the back end, I'll probably end up doing a small low profile toolbox in the back. This will also be diamond plated too. Maybe a fire extinguisher and some other stuff there. Cool part is it's got a hitch mount. So I can pull some things out if I need to. Anyway, aside from that, steering gearbox is all welded up. Ended up taking some half inch DOM tubing. Going ahead and bolting it in and then cutting notching that out with a grinder and then i weld it on both sides granted this flat so now it has three points of contact that bolt's missing fill out somewhere in the yard anyway everything else is factory uh, this is a suzuki steering gear out of a samurai and then i took a tapered drill bit and i drilled until that fit snug in there so all the steering linkages and everything else are factory as far as the front brakes, because everything is locked, with the exception of whenever you open this up, what I wanted to do is run a Dash 3 half 20 banjo adapter, and that is going to go to either a pedal style brake. That's not going to be vacuum assisted, it'll just be brake pedal with a master cylinder. I'll activate just the fronts. I'm not gonna do anything with the rears, the backing plates, all the hardware, it's crap. So I'm just gonna remove all that. It's either going to be a foot brake or an e-brake like what you see on the drift cars. So you gotta figure out which one I'm gonna prefer on this build. But aside from that, once I get the diamond plate on and I see how heavy it is, I will then start to soften up the leaves by removing individual leaf packs uh, potentially all the way down to a single because I want it to be able to flexi. So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, it'll probably be another week before I have an update on this. 
Uh, hopefully a test drive and a seat. I'm gonna mount the seat right here and that steering column is going to be so long, but it should land about right here. And I'm gonna make it low profile, so Cruella DeVille Creek Runner. 